guys, it's Danger Debs, and I'm going to tell you a cosplay story. So you better follow me before I start the story of when I went to my first Comic-Con event and I was cosplaying as Anna. This is when I didn't know what cosplay was. I just saw a Disney meetup on Facebook and I was like, yes, I am so going. And I cosplayed as Anna. I got the idea from my DIY costume video back in April. I still don't know what cosplay was. I was living in Inverness. I don't think Nescon was a thing back then. So I took the purple cape, the blue t-shirt, the black vest, a short skirt, but on the way, I changed the skirt. I went to BHS and just got a longer blue skirt. I felt more comfortable. So I was just like, I'll just be Anna. I'll just cosplay as her at this Comic-Con event. What's a Comic-Con event? I had no idea, so I just went down, buy my ticket on the day, and met too many people in costume. There were like 42 people, and I was like, blow the way! I've never seen so many people dress up for one day. My mind was... Oh, exploded away to be princesses and prince characters. Other characters I didn't know who were in the far distance. I just enjoyed my time. There were 42 people at the Disney meetup and I was just blown away. You got everybody together, then all the princesses together, the individual photos, and I just stayed there until the end of the meetup because I was just blown away. Then I went walking about. I wanted to film, I wanted to vlog, but um, I forgot the SD card. So I didn't vlog, I just took random photos of random people, especially the ones who were cosplaying my sister Elsa. Took photos of them people, didn't care who you were. I just wanted a photo with my sister. But sadly at MCM Scotland 2017, I had to leave early. I really can't remember why. I was there 10 till two. I just had to leave early, I can't remember why. Because I had to go meet my boyfriend and head off. I can't remember why we headed off early. I can't remember. Why did I leave early? Anyway, that was my first Comic Con experience. But I didn't really meet anybody. Every time I look back at MCM Scotland 2017, my friend Katie always says to me, Deb, you should have told me you were there. We could have hanged out more. Because we met before the event at a book signing. Yeah, I should have told her. Never mind. <laughs> but. I must say, the next con I went to, Capital Sci-Fi, I met more people and I researched what is cosplay? And I researched every single famous cosplayer in Scotland to see who they were, because I just like, oh this is a thing! Cosplay's a thing! It's not just about running around a Comic-Con event, it's about dressing up, having fun, and being creative. So the more I researched it and went to the next Comic Con event, it's like, oh now I get it. Also looking back at it, I remember I got a photo with someone cosplaying as Ariel and my costume looks similar to her costume. So I was like, you know what, when you get a photo together, I look similar to you. So I'm going to quickly change from Anna to Ariel. I'm still a princess. I'm still Disney, but I'm just going to quickly change to look like you. <laughs> so at MCM Scotland 2017, I was kind of cosplaying Anna and Ariel, but really I was cosplaying Anna. Also, looking back at the Disney photo meetup, I don't recognise anybody, but Abby, who is holding the baby, it's not her baby. They just felt like, okay, Belle, you hold baby Belle. That's the only person I know in the photo. Wait, I know this person. That guy always dressed up as a Disney princess. And that's fine by me. Why not? <laughs> you can cosplay whatever you want to. It doesn't matter about your, your race, your gender, your skin colour, your age, your size. Just cosplay however you want to be. That is the only time I've cosplayed Anna for a Comic Con event, so that was the only story I could tell you for now about Anna. Next time you see me, I'll be telling you the story of how I cosplay Elsa, my sister. If you want to know more about my cosplay Anna costume, I can't tell you it now because I don't have the hair for it, go to the DIY costume video and you can learn out more about all the items that I use for the costume. I think I need to update it by getting myself a wig. I don't know. I haven't worn this costume in ages. 
Before I cutted my hair, I remember I updated a t-shirt so I wasn't wearing my sister's t-shirt. And I remember also on the way to MCM Scotland, I popped into British Heart Foundation to change the skirt because the skirt I was wearing was so short. The best thing about cosplaying as Anna, if you got somebody cosplaying as Elsa, yeah, that's the best time to go. But it looks like I can't cosplay Anna anymore until I get the wig. Which is fine by me. Anyway guys, give this video a thumbs up, comment below if you cosplay as Anna or you just like my costume. And subscribe guys for more cosplay stories and more cosplay content if you're bored during this lockdown. But remember, it's the memories that make us. So go out there and make some good memories and not some bad memories. Bye!